Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the 3D eCover action scripts, how to load them into Photoshop, and then how to use them to create your own 3D eCovers. Okay, so uh, the action scripts are located in the action scripts folder. Here they are. And the first thing you need to do before using them is you have, you have to actually load them into Photoshop. And the way we do that is you open up Photoshop, go to the actions palette, if you don't see the actions palette within Photoshop, go to Window and make sure there is a check mark next to Actions. If there is no check mark, click on it and it will open up the actions palette. Okay, so once inside the actions palette, uh, click on this little triangle here in the corner and choose Load Actions. Okay, so this will open up a dialog box where you have to locate where you saved the, the package. So, locate where you saved the package, then locate the, hi, uh, the action scripts folder, and simply highlight all of these actions here. Click on the first one and highlight all of them at once and then press open okay I already have them loaded into uh, Photoshop so I'm not gonna hit open but you gotta hit open and this will open them up in your actions palette okay so here we are inside the actions palette you can see I have all of my actions loaded now this is how you use them they have two options here. One is start and one is compile. Okay, the start option will create a blank template for you. Just like this. Okay, so when you go to start, highlight the start option, click the little play triangle, and this will create a two-dimensional template for you. This is the template that you use to create your main design. Okay, so you put the front cover here and the spine here. You put your text, you put your images, uh, and you pretty much create the design in this template. Make sure you follow the guideline here. This is the guide for the spine and for the front cover. Make sure you put all of the, your designs uh, based on this guide. Okay, once you have the two-dimensional design, Next, what you do is you go to compile and you run the compile action to uh, make the design, turn it from 2D into 3D. Okay, but before you use it, there's a certain thing you need to do to each action script uh, before you run the compile command. Since I'm using 3D templates uh, for these action scripts, each time uh, you run the compile command, it will prompt you uh, to open a certain file. So to make this automated what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go to this you, first you open up you go to compile click on this little triangle to open up the full action script menu and right at the beginning of the action there's something called open. Okay so just double click on this and you will get a window prompting you to open a certain file. Let me just see where I saved everything. Okay, you cover 3D template. Okay, so uh, this open prompt pretty much prompts you to open the 3D template that comes with each uh, action script. And you can find these 3D templates inside the eCover 3D templates folder. Okay, you can see all of them listed here. So this is pretty simple. Uh, each action script will have a matching 3D template. So say the action script is named Book 2, then you will go to the eCover 3D templates folder and find the matching uh, template, Book2.psd. Okay, so you click on that and you hit open. Okay, you, know, you have to do this for each action script. You only have to do this once, and the next time 
uh, you use the action scripts, they will remember. It will save the open command that you just did, and you don't have to do this anymore. So you only have to do this once before you start using the action scripts. Okay, so go to each action script in this uh, in this package, find the compile command, open it, uh, clicking in this little triangle, and hit open. Then find the matching uh, 3D template inside the 3D templates folder. Okay, so in this example, it's book three. You have to find book three PSD. Click on it and hit open. Again, do this for each action script, for the boxes, uh, for the cards, action uh, magazines, spirals. There's actually only two kind of actions that don't have a open prompt and those are CDs and member cards so they actually don't have an open command and you can just run them uh, as is without modifying the open command thing like I just showed you okay so for the CDs and for the member cards you don't have to do what I just did for everything else go to compile hit open find the matching 3D template it will match the name of the action script exactly and follow what I did again which is open eCover 3D templates folder find the matching name to the action script so this is box 8 3 sided so you go to box 8 and you open it okay so do this for all of the actions except for CDs and member cards. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> I wanted to make this as simple as possible, but uh, this is just one little thing that you have to do. Okay, so after you've loaded the action scripts and after you've uh, updated the open prompt command, this is how you compile uh, the action scripts. Okay, so we have a book cover here. Once you're happy with the design, go to compile, press the play triangle, and the cover gets created for you automatically, as you can see here. Okay, so let me just give you another example. Let's go to book seven. Let's just type something in here. Like your cover okay you can obviously put your own uh, text your own images but this is just an example okay so let's go to compile again press play and here we go as you can see the cover gets created what's cool about these actions is they're really fast as you can see the cover gets created literally in just a few seconds uh, compared to some other action scripts that take several mil uh, minutes to render and that's because I use those uh, pre-made 3D templates okay so let's just show you another example here's another book cover as you can see it just got updated Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, e uh, for eCover action scripts. If I'm forgetting something, I'll make another video, but I think that's pretty much it. So just play around with it, and I hope it's not too complicated.